This video is dedicated to exactly 4,372 peoples. They watched my last video about Shell and congratulations, I'm here with the new update. There is something you need to know about the new update of Shell. I don't know how much you care about the Windows right click menu, but once you install and start using Shell, you can't go back. It's that good compared to default Windows right click menu. I mean, just look at it. It is so good. I'm using Windows 11, but it's not the Windows 11 right click menu. It's actually the Shell. The new update is version 1.8 before this it was 1.7 so if you have a shell installed on your system it is probably like 1.7 so sadly it doesn't get a automatic update so you have to go to the website and from there you have to download the latest version of shell and uh, there is one more small problem with this that it doesn't actually update the shell to 1.8 it actually installs a separate version of shell so you actually have to uninstall the old version of shell 1.7 and then you can actually use the 1.8 and trust me 1.8 just looks so good so much better than the 1.7 and finally we have the you know transparency going on in the background when you right click you know in the right click menu so that's that this is the old shell right click menu 1.7 you can see it's solid dark or gray and if we right click on the taskbar we have a bunch of options i mean it doesn't look that bad but shell 1.8 is just much better it actually feels like it is like native right click menu of windows 11 because i'm using windows 11 maybe you're wondering can i use it on windows 10 yes of course so yeah shell 1.8 looks beautiful looks like a native windows right click menu plus now it is more optimized and responsive compared to the previous ones even the taskbar right click menu is now you know minimal i don't have to talk too much uh, you can see by yourself how it looks and you know it, it is just cool it's time to update the shell but make sure that you uninstall the old version of shell before installing the shell 1.8 so that's something you know weird thing i don't know why but yeah and another just extra tip for you guys we can't always go to the specific software's website to you know look for the new update you know some softwares doesn't provide the automatic update so we have to go to their website and you know look for the update uh, same thing with this uh, the shell it is absolutely amazing software but uh, there is an update issue i recommend you guys to use uh, this software called winget ui and go to software updates section and from here you'll get the update for many other softwares that you have installed on your system plus for the shell too so actually this is how i got my shell 1.8 update uh, it gives you the automatic update it's, it's really cool and i think that's it hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i will see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun bye bye